Friday here at TFA. 
Ok, ok, ok. 11 años ADR Networks. Felicidades. Síganla rompiendo. Que vengan 11 años más. 11 por 11. Multiplíquenlo. Muchas felicidades. Un abrazo. Alex Ayala. Y a seguir adelante. Les habla Ciros de CRS. Cirrosis. Saludos desde Sonora. Aquí para felicitar a ADR Networks en su onceavo aniversario. No olviden, gente, seguir con el metal siempre presente en sus vidas. Stay fucking. ADR Network 11 aniversario, estamos de manteles largos, de verdad, felicidades por este cumpleaños, que sean muchos años más. Yo soy Marco Jack Zaragazzi de BBX, así que no le cambies tocar rock. Hola, soy Naomi Rey y quiero felicitar a mis amigos de ADR Networks por sus 11 años de transmisión al aire. Les mando un abrazo y un beso con mucho cariño por parte de su amiga Naomi Rey. Felicitaciones a ADR Network que cumple 11 años, de mi parte Víctor González que cumple muchos más. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Quillo González, bajista de Parasit, CRS, Nata. Quiero felicitar a ADR Networks por su décimo primer aniversario. Que vengan muchos más, muchos más éxitos y muchas gracias por apoyar la música hecha en México, sobre todo. Saludos a toda la gente que escucha ADR Networks. Soy Javier Carranza, el costeño, y quiero saludar cariñosamente a mis amigos de ADR Network por sus 11 años. Sus 11 años trabajando por sus 11 años de éxitos. Muchas felicidades a todos los que colaboran en esta empresa de ADR Network. Felicidades, carnales. Síganle dando para adelante mis mejores deseos, que se cumplan muchos más, que Dios los bendiga. Se les quiere bien y, por favor, que no falten las risas ADR Network. Gracias por todo lo que nos han regalado. Gracias. Entrando por tus oídos. Entrando por tus oídos. Hasta llegar al centro de tus emociones. ADR Networks está en este momento. Activando tus sentidos. ADR Networks. ADR Networks presenta. This is Celestine Angel. And I'm Isa Crouch. And this is... Show. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm sorry, we were facing some technical difficulties with the camera hooked up there. Right. Yeah. So, uh, my name is Celestine Angel. And I'm Isa Rakish. You're joining us here on that foreign show and ADR Networks, and we're here activating your, your senses. senses. Yes. So we're going to do a really quick um, segment of uh, TFS, uh, TFS Insider because yeah. our guest is already waiting. Um, so we want to share with you this uh, gaming really organization, cool. really cool esports. Stuff. Yeah. It's uh, called Illicit. Yes. And. Um, We are actually working with them right now to do like the creative side of uh, all that entails. And actually they are mainly focused on the game Valorant. So uh, those of you who are gamers, those of you who play Valorant especially, please follow them. They are like, guys, if you can put up the, uh, Lou, if you could put up the uh, Instagram, Instagram page, page yes. so people could follow this, um, gaming community organization they they are they are really cool we are going to do like some pop-up uh um parties with them i think uh as soon as we can maybe in the in the, in the next couple of months so basically what it is is they actually they are professional gamers they it's a, it's a team of professional gamers all right And uh, they're competing officially on um, Riot, for example, Riot game competitions, right? No, sorry, Lou, this is not it. This is our guest later. Yes. Uh, okay, let, let, me, let me show you which is, which is it. Give me one second. This is Martin's Instagram page. Martin is coming on in a bit. We're going to talk to him in a bit, right? 
Riot game competitions are some of the the, the competitions that uh, elicit as a team uh, they, they work with, all right? And um, basically, they have a whole administrative and content team behind their project as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they do is they create some really cool content uh, for, for gamers. Now, Valorian, this game, uh, we've looked at it. We know some people actually play it. It's exciting. It's not easy. It's not it's easy. It's challenging. I mean, uh, us personally, we have never played, but we, uh, our, uh, our, our brother do, and our brother does. He, like, he was telling us that it's, yeah. it's really difficult. And but we've uh, seen, we've seen it. No, we've seen the, we've seen what it looks like and stuff. And um, it's, uh, I don't know why they say it's not easy. Okay, do do you mind sharing the Instagram page, or if if you can't, well, anyway, we are going to put it up on the Facebook video we'll put the instagram page there the link so you can go in it's called illicit yes it's on a, it's on a, lou it's on the it's on the foreign show whatsapp chat we yeah i, I already told you like uh, the the address but it's okay it's okay if uh, if you can't find it uh we are definitely going to share it on the facebook video yeah i'll put it in the comments yes so yeah, but anyway, uh, illicit is like it's, it's the, the, the message. Page. The message be behind yes. it is like really cool because it's about being yourself. It's about setting your expression. It's very street. It's very, um, it's very current. It's progressive. So like we we love being behind it. It, it feels so um, like on point with Illuminary as well. Like our project. Yeah, like we also have the same three first letters yeah. so we like the message everything has been so aligned we are very happy with with this collaboration so we would like to, we wanted to share with you like this thing that we are uh doing and uh like especially for all you gamers out there go join and uh yeah and our, our the 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 person behind this brand um uh, is uh like our old bassist actually and he speaks english so all you foreigners like go ahead like connect with him connect and with him like with see you. something fun that you can do over here uh, yeah. it's, it's not a video lou it's the instagram page uh okay anyway it's instagram.com slash illicit g underscore sorry, actually i don't know, <laughs> I don't know if, it, if it's underscore just give me a second um, we're, gonna, we're gonna put it out right now for you guys to take a look. Right. Yes, correct. So yeah. it's illicit, I L L I C I T G underscore, and that that is the Instagram page. So anyway, like we can go right to our guest if uh, if you are ready, Lou. Thank you. Well, hey. Hi. Hello, hello. So this is Bati, Bati, Isaac, this is my hi, husband. Hi, nice to meet you. hi Isaac. <laughs> hi, how's it going? Very good. Very good. Thank you for waiting patiently behind the scenes. <laughs> yes. 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 So I have, been listening, I, I've been listening for a while to your music. The link oh. you sent when we met on uh, on a set on, uh, on uh, for 15 an hour. And, uh, yeah. And I was showing it to a friend who was uh, also singing and he said, wow, this sounds great. Yeah, I know. Wow, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for like sharing our music and all that. So yeah, just to let the audience know, yes. Martin and I met when we were acting in a series. Okay. So uh, like uh, I, I was doing like a tertiary role and I was acting as his wife. Okay. And, yeah, mm -hmm. it was very fun. Yeah. <laughs> and he, oh, he yeah. taught me a lot. Like he, you guided me and I, I really enjoy our session together. Yeah, it made me like oh. acting. <laughs> yeah, we connected. We connected on a different level, on an artistic level. I, yeah. I, I noticed. And that was very, uh, very pleasant. Yes. Yeah. Sounds, sounds great. Yeah, like, the, it's seriously the interchange that makes, like, acting so fun. Like, because mm. if, if there wasn't the dialogue and, uh, you know, the chemistry and all that, it, it, it doesn't feel as real as when you're present and there. And... Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And then, like, like you always if, uh, felt like you go into the art of it, like, very much. And I, I know that this is the direction of today's episode, like, um, that you want to study the 
difference between doing this for art or doing it just for fame, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, that's an <laughs> interesting uh, subject. <laughs> <laughs> because nowadays we, uh, we, we live in, in the sprint culture, you know? We live in a sprint culture. Everybody wants everything very, very fast. Mm. Right. Um, I, I, I strongly, highly defend, defend the slow uh, process of learning because I, I think it's much, much, much better. Uh, mm. Whether we're talking about acting or um, um, sports or whatever, reading or, or whatever you want to learn, if, it, if right. the the learning process and the creative process is slow, it's way better. It's mm -hmm. way better because, you know, if you learn something really quick, probably you're going to forget, forget about it very quick as well. Yeah. So in a That's slow true. learning, it's like, it's like you're, you're um, doing it with a hammer and a, how do you call that? In, 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 in a stone. Right. It will stay Stop there. It. You know, mm -hmm. when I studied theater, I uh, studied this uh, um, uh, technique, um, um, technique structure of acting. And I remember I did four years with my master and every class was the same technique and the same thing. And after four years, in the beginning, there was, there was stuff that I did not understand. And I asked my teacher, I said, what does this mean? He says, right. he says, you don't worry. You just listen to the music and little by little things will go in. And all of a sudden, a few years pass by and all of a sudden you say, wow, I, I didn't realize what I learned until now, after a couple of years, you know? And I guess that's with, with singing and with music, you guys are into in the music world. Yeah. I think it's the same thing. But people right now, I hear some friends telling me, no, I'm going to do this, uh, a course of uh, 15 hours with this teacher. And then I'm doing another one with that other teacher. And I'm going to do <laughs> a I'm going to be successful. And I say, well, good luck. <laughs> Have fun. Yes, because it's, uh -huh. it's bread for today and hunger for tomorrow. That's oh, wow. I like this. Wow. Yo, I, I like your vibe, man. It's uh, this, this whole, yeah, this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I told him is, about you, yeah. It's actually kind of what we are also, uh, you know, feeling a lot. Not necessarily so much specifically the, 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 the slow or the, the length of time thing, but the really kind of just giving yourself completely, you know, um, 100% to whatever it is that you are actually doing, you know. And I guess most of the time that will take time, right, you know. It does, yes. Yeah, you have to take it like and without hurry and without pause, you know, like right. the, like the stars, as one right. philosopher said, without hurry, without a pause. Without you know? hurry, without pause. Well, your your work po portfolio, like on that note, on your work portfolio yes. has been like extensive, though. I see, like on IMDb, mm -hmm. you have done so many things, like. Uh, like I know you told me like film site you haven't done much but I think that um, it, there, are, there are quite a few as well like I was looking um, the this ricochet you were like lead on that right which one ricochet ricochet yes uh -huh. yeah. yeah main character uh, yeah. My first main character yeah yeah, and uh, I, I read the storyline of that. I didn't get a chance to watch it, but mm -hmm. it it sounds like tough, like uh, 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 like a nice character to dig into. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Martin, let me ask you, man. So you mentioned uh, working uh, four years with a master in theater, right? Well, is, is yeah. that that was the last part of my of my academic uh, learning. Uh, I have been like uh, uh, learning with with other uh, people before, but he is my definite master who really taught me the important stuff. Before I studied for myself, books, you know, you dive into this thing because you want to be an actor. But mm -hmm. then I met my 
my definite master. His name is Jorge Eines. And he really made me passionate, even more passionate about my craft. Yes. And so would you would you say that, uh, I mean, obviously theater and, and you know, um, acting in front of the camera is very different. But uh, would you would you consider yourself uh, uh, more of a, a, a theater actor, play? Um, well, no, actually both. The thing is that my heart goes more out to theater because I can use my my technique, my acting technique, and uh, the the creative process of rehearsals. Mm -hmm. I can defend that much better in theater than on screen because on screen everything is fast. You gotta be yeah. fast. It's it's learning your lines fast and and do it. You know. Uh, and and on the other side, on theater, well, you go, you go uh, uh, rehearsing, and you you start working without knowing what's going to happen. You start working in in favor of the not knowing what you're going to do. And on television, people demand mostly of you to give results. Mm -hmm. And when you're right. in theater, if you have a bad director, it happens too. But if you have a good director who is in favor of um, let's work, who says like the rehearsal is there in order to do things wrong, to make mistakes. And if, if that's the, the initial thing where you, where you work with, Let's just go and work and, and work with our first impulses. And uh, if it's wrong, if we, if, if we make mistakes, it's good. The sooner, the sooner we make a lot of mistakes, the sooner we get where we want to be. But if they, they, from the beginning, they ask you to be natural, they ask you to, to uh, have emotions and stuff like that, uh -huh. Uh -huh. from, the, from the first rehearsal, then there's no um, process, there's no creative process. I love right. to make mistakes. I love to, to be an idiot. I love to be ridiculous and stupid in order to make things happen. Yeah. Things, were, things that were not there before we started the rehearsal. So, you would... So you this see is Martin's um, IMDb page. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Like, uh, if we scroll down, like, we can see, like, all the different stuff that he has done. Like, so your name you is... Tell us a bit about... Uh... Martin Kuiper, right? Do you pronounce it correctly? Kuiper? Yeah, that's okay. That's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite good. <laughs> okay. We're making mistakes, you know? We're getting, we're getting there. We're so, getting there. He, like, uh, I don't know if you, you can tell, but we're very orange yes. for, for your country. <laughs> you know, the, like, orange is supposed to be the color of, of, uh, of the, the, the Dutch. Netherlands? Yeah, yes. the Netherlands, right? Are we yes. right? <laughs> Yeah, in, uh, can, can you repeat the question for me, please, Celestine? Oh, no, I was just telling you that, like, we are wearing orange to to represent the your your country. Oh, my country, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah we're doing, like, uh, like, you know, the the Dutch look. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I was telling her also that uh, the, the Dutch people, the Netherlands, they are, they're kind of flamboyant in their way, right? Like, the Dutch football team, you know, with the orange jersey, and yeah, I yeah. mean, you had three colors. You could have chosen. You could have picked the the white, the white you know, or the blue or the red, or the blue. Uh -huh. Yeah, but the, you instead went for the orange. Yeah. So, I, I was I was reading up about it, and basically, it represents the the royal family and the, oh. the orange color. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a color that represents the country for that mm. reason. Hey man, yo, uh, there's so many interesting things that that you you mentioned just now, and. Uh, that we can really go into, you know, like uh, this one thing that, that, that I'm getting from what you said about your process uh, with rehearsals and doing things and uh, your own search for perfection in a way, right? You're trying to get to a naturally perfect state. I mean, is that, is that what you would, how you would say it? Well, I, what I want to say is that if we are willing to make mistakes, 
we are uh, more uh, closer to find the pearls in our work than if you think on the couch of your living room, think, mm -hmm. I have to sing it like that or I have to act it like that and then I have to get mad and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to smile and then, yeah, I think he's, he's quite uh, irritating at that moment. Okay. And then I stand up and I'm going to do it. Right. You have it's to. too mental that way, right? Like mm. here's the play. And here you start to play and here you start to work with your first impulses and willing to make mistakes and have fun. Mm. And making mistakes is not, is not a suffering uh, path. It's yeah. it's not fun, and and uh, in order to to open new parts that we didn't know about before we started the rehearsal, that's right. what I want to I want to uh, explore make clear. Yes, so okay. it's an exploration. It's it's I an mean, exploration in your character that doesn't exist until you construct it. Right. It doesn't exist until you construct it working on the playground, you know? That mm -hmm. is what I, what I have been taught. I mean, we, we've been thinking about this, I mean, on a, like, a, a, like in a spiritual sense, like how we are all such perfectionists, but like um, there is the, the imperfections should be embraced, you know, also. Yes. Is yeah. like instead of uh, always projecting uh, like uh, the perfectionistic way to be the perfection the perfect way to be yeah. like like you you embrace the imperfect mm -hmm. and let it be perfect imperfection you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're not speaking yeah and you're saying this is kind of lacking in the culture of the world today right like people want things fast right they want yeah. things I they think want things fast yeah because people think that the the um, the learning process is a dull and suffering process. <laughs> I think we have to learn to enjoy that path. You know, it's like you go up a mountain and you're going to be happy when you reach the top. But we have to learn to be happy. To in the walk, journey. You know, in mm -hmm. the journey. That's what we all know. It's, it's a very simple, simple thing, actually. But... Uh, yeah. In practice, it's not, not always so, so easy because we want results. We are taught to make results. We are taught to be successful. And, I mean, what is successful? Successful is making a lot of money or doing what you like, doing what you're passionate about with people you love. Mm -hmm. I think that's being successful. Being successful, like yeah, so being happy. You know, a lot of yeah. people who make a lot of money in companies and, and they make a lot of money or they are born with a lot of money and they're extremely unhappy. Yeah, true. In their lives and they have a, a horrible relationship with their kids or they're divorced or they have another relation or this full of, you know, relationship that's full of crap and mm. but they make a lot of money. So on the outside, those are the successful people and that's, that's, not, uh, that's not fair. Mm. <laughs> It's yeah, it's like <laughs> surface, like, it's just a superficial idea of success, exactly. right? Exactly. Especially in the United States, this 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 word to be successful, it's like <laughs> <laughs> Well, it could be also like uh, I think the school school systems and all that also uh, could be to, to be blamed also, right? Like because yeah, you are trained from a young yeah. age, right? That uh, success means a certain Money. thing, and you have to chase. You know, you they, to chase yeah, they always yeah. make you feel like it's the next, the next point, the next point. Yeah. yeah. And hearing hearing your process, Martin, for when you when you are acting something or when when you are approaching your art, it almost feels like you're you're unlearning this. You're you're, you're going you're you're letting go of these things and and going more to the natural natural way, right? Like you, well, you see yeah. some. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the experience teaches you something, leaves you something. It leaves you some sort of a maturity, uh, an artistic maturity, of course. So in every new project you, you attack, you have this little, little bit of experience that you add to, your, uh, to yourself. But uh, 
every new today this morning i had to record a casting and uh it's like every time you start from zero mm -hmm. you have some experience but it's right. it's every time uh, you start again from 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 the ground but i love that i love that it's always from zero always yeah. from reset yeah it's so you're fresh you're fresh every single time yeah and, and that's great for your profession it's it's, I would say. it's it's like trying to make happen something that could not be thought of before we started uh, our work so uh something it's the, Something not existing, right? Something new in a way, right? right? New, something mm. fresh, something that we that that wasn't there when we started the rehearsal. Mm. With singing, it's it's the same uh, thing. I don't know because I don't have experience with that. But maybe when you start a song, you start like singing and and then making sounds and crying. And working with your first impulses, and all of a yeah. sudden, I don't know, I don't know eh, but I can imagine, all of a sudden something happens in your voice or in your, in some tones that you say, "Hey, did you hear that? I, I love that. Repeat it again." And then you repeat it again and again, and then you structure, yeah. you structure yeah. into into your into the process, and and something of that stays into the song, or I don't know, or. Yeah, man. So, yeah. like, for you, Very do you true. do like what they call like method acting, or is it like like no. this, like always fresh? Like, yeah. it's not it's not method acting. I'm actually quite uh, quite uh, against uh, the American uh, yeah uh, additional I've... method acting. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I mean, because we didn't it... use the term, but I think we spoke on it when we were doing our um, uh, yes, yes. Say, right? Yeah, yeah. So can yeah. you explain to the people, uh, Martin, uh, what what is this? What is method acting, or, or why you well, don't method, like it so much? Acting, they say that you must not act, okay. but that, that I think you must not act. So be as natural as you can. You know, like okay. we're talking right now, we're not acting, we're yeah. being natural, and and this could be an, an acting. This could be mm -hmm. a dialogue that we learned, and it's completely natural. You know. Okay. So that's what they say, don't act. I'm against that because, well, they. And there's another thing, and that's the the um, um, emotional memory. So you think about something sad in uh -huh. the past to to get emotional and to put it into the scene. So you have to go away from the scene, look for when your grandmother died and we were. <laughs> Okay. Okay. A bicycle when you were five years old, and uh, and then you think about that, and you get all fucked up, and uh, <laughs> and then yeah. you come onto the scene. Right. And I I think that's overrated. I think the crying part in acting is overrated. It's uh, it's actually a thing that new actors should not uh, value too much because. Because they think that when I can cry in front of a camera, then I reach the highest level. That's a big lie. That's, mm. that's absolutely I, I absolutely get. I get what you mean. Like the, um, if you cry, it has to be authentic to the scene, right? Like or, or to your moment in the scene, right? Like I, I get it. Well, you can cry, but I think watching an actor or an actress crying on stage or in front of a camera. Is extremely boring. It's like, yeah. like <laughs> it's not crying. You can say, "Wow, he's crying and he's he's acting. It's not real. He's acting. Wow, right? That's quite boring. I think it's much. It's way more interesting when you see something. Somebody when when we guys have a conversation in my house, the three of us, or in your right. house, and I tell you something about my childhood or whatever." And I, we don't know each other too much, you know? And I get emotional. What do I try to do? Do I try to cry or do I try to hide it? Well, you I'm, try to hide it, right? In a natural, in natural setting. Yeah. I try not to cry. Yeah. So if I can show that on screen, that I'm trying not to cry, but make the audience get emotional, it's way oh. more. 
right? Yeah. Like show complexity of of yeah. emotions. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah wow. Yeah. On 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 a stage, if I I'm I I do some acting coaching as well. It's extremely easy to make a, a student cry. I talk a little bit with him. I I go a little bit deeper in his in his uh, uh, child traumas and stuff and his problem when when uh, his, whatever and uh, <laughs> I make him cry easily. It's it's not a big deal. But try not to cry and and make the audience get emotional. It's, it's yes. uh, not that it's much more difficult, but it's much more interesting. And real, right? I think it's real. It's more it's more real. Yeah. Yo, this is so so interesting, like this stuff that you're saying, Martin. Yeah. Like like uh, so I mean this this example of the crying thing that we are talking about, right? I I think this this problem in a sense exists in a lot of uh, other other things as well. Like um, for example, artists or people have an idea of what they think the art requires in the moment and then they try to go somewhere else and put something in there to 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 get an outcome of what they think it is mm -hmm. but then in the end that that final outcome is just empty of realness right empty mm -hmm. of a uh, empty of like a of what, spirit why people want to watch you is because yeah. you're being real <laughs> yes but people... then you go out of it and then yeah and Yo, it this is make so interesting martin because even in a simple thing like, for example, us setting up this podcast right now, and we try to get the camera right and like this, and we try to we try to make it look good because we think that a nice scene will be nice for the audience, but maybe the audience wants to see some realness, you know? They want to <laughs> see, right, you know? And uh, but this 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 goes to this comes. I mean, thinking about this, then uh, uh, it creates this question, right? Like, uh, what is what is the job or what is the role of an artist, right? Like, like, what is he actually doing? Is he... Well, let's take a person of for, yeah. for Martin. Like, like, what is, what do you feel that, uh, that you are getting from being an, an actor and what, what you're giving to others, particularly and just uniquely for yourself? Uh -huh. What, what, it, it's like the question is like, why am I passionate about acting mm -hmm. yes yeah Something like that yeah yeah that's a good question it's not very easy it uh <laughs> well of course we actors and i think maybe maybe singers as well i don't know but let's talk about actors we are we have a, a, a narcissistic part obviously because we want to be seen we mm -hmm. want people to watch us Mm. what we do and uh so this we have this this uh this big narcissistic flag to start with you know but um i think what i what i like about acting is the playing the playing as if when we were children, you know, when you're playing and when you're doing stuff, what you cannot do on the streets. Sometimes with here with my girlfriend, I start dancing and doing stupid stuff and being ridiculous. But mm. that actually, that is actually acting, playing, really playing, like in French, doué. Mm. In English, it's to play. It, it's it's playing, but in the, in the most a, a literal way to play, to to mm. around, to to just let your body be free, yeah. right? Like yeah. just do whatever. Yeah. Play. Yeah. That is what I what I like. I think about acting, and then and then you get deeper and deeper, and then if you if you rehearse and you can you find these very subtle paths of uh, expressions mm -hmm. um wow that's 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 nice i i enjoy that very much i think that is what i what i like about acting the 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 this uh, discovering uh new ways of expression that i that i was not aware of before i started the rehearsal all of a sudden you discover 
an expression of something in a way you said something or you moved or you you act you you actioned with something, mm. and all of a sudden it it it, uh, it it becomes something that something that you could not have thought of before you started to play, and that is what I I really like to surprise myself. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, mm. that's what it's, Great. it's not easy. And in English. It's, it's it's more difficult for me to to explain. No, it's cool, man. You, yeah. When, when you say that, you mean you explain better in Spanish or in your native language? <laughs> Actually, in Spanish, because I I speak better Spanish than Dutch. Yeah, that is that is so interesting. I mean, like, so you are very fluent in English. You speak Spanish, like, you act in Spanish, right? Yes. And Most and Dutch. Uh -huh. So you yes. speak three languages, or do you speak more? Three. Mm -hmm. Just and a how did you? Uh -huh. A tiny little bit of French and, and a tiny little bit of German, but I cannot uh, keep wow. up conversation. And And um, do you know he does uh, British accents too? Like oh. Sherry, uh, <laughs> sometimes he takes uh, roles uh, as a British uh, character. Oh wow! <laughs> well, that's that's, uh, that's very versatile. Well that was the first time in uh, in um, this uh, digital platform uh, Vix. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, in a, in a series we uh, we shoot uh, last year. That was uh, um, um, forgot the name. Uh, the travesuras de la niña mala. Right. Yeah, yes, I, I saw that that you acted in that series. Actually, yesterday I was an extra on the on the on the set. Oh, for for travesuras. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. So, like, um, like for for travesuras, where were you acting uh, as? I was a British a British uh, millionaire who who gets who marries the the main character. Oh, the the, the girl, mom. right? Yeah, and we have a very <laughs> unhappy marriage, and she's in love with somebody else. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah. Hence, she's the bad girl, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, because we don't have like that much time left, and I would really like to know, like, like how it has been um, working in Mexican television. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, like, why, why, why are you acting here instead of in, like, um, in Holland? Like, what, what do you like about uh, both places? All these, mm. all these things. Like, okay. Um, well, I left Holland when I was 20 and I didn't yeah. start my acting career. I, I went to Alicante, which is a place on the coast in Spain, and I lived there for five, six years. And then I went to Madrid. And in Madrid, I started modeling, and somebody took me to a theater class. And then, little then by that time, I was 26, 27. And little by little, I entered the, the acting classes. And I started with a business partner, I started a little acting school, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Like seven, eight years later, I met my latest uh, master who really opened my eyes and really taught me the most interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I had some career in Spain, but uh, almost eight years ago, I was offered for, uh, um, I, I got a, a casting for HBO, the series is called Senor Avila, which is very, very good, very high, high level. And uh, it got an Emmy award for best foreign series in New York. In the nice third, third season so i started the first season and i did the fourth and uh that's that that job took me to mexico and i i had no no attachments in in, uh, in spain no attachments whatsoever whatsoever right. so i took my suitcase and i left with uh, 500 euros in my pocket and uh -huh. I started nice. uh, modeling and uh and doing, uh, looking for a manager. And then I started uh, doing castings and started working in series as well. Yeah. Nice. First and three years were good. Next three years were bad. And the last year, 2022, was excellent. It was super. Right after, like, 
right after after the pandemic, uh, after the quarantine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you say good and bad, you mean in terms of the of your of your career or work, work, yeah, work, yeah. And uh, is there something about Mexico that that kind of helps you with your art? Uh, you know, like 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 give you some kind of inspiration to to stay here. Um, well, I think basically there's more work here for me in Mexico than in, than in Spain. There's a, there's a lot of, lot of projects and my, my profile, uh, profile uh -huh. works quite well here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I think in Spain, probably there'll be a lot of people that look like you, the same profile, right? And here your profile will be a little more unique. Yes, I would there's say. more people that look like me, uh, although not too much, not too much. But it's here, okay. here, I have less competence, yeah. 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 Hey, Mate, I want to ask you this, uh, this thing you mentioned, because you mentioned it twice about working with a master, right? And uh, I think this is also uh, one point that is kind of uh, pretty, very uh, important, right, to, to actually... To, to have the love and respect of someone uh, that you look up to whatever you're doing as an in whatever art that you're doing and then you kind of learn certain things from 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 that right can you can you tell us a bit about that like like yes, uh, of course yes he my master he he and I told him he changed my life he changed my my artistic life because he gave me uh, he taught me uh, technique. And that's something invaluable. It's uh, it's something that I can get a hold on. Uh, although the technique he taught me is more based on theater, so you have to you have to be able to get that technique and change it, not change it, but convert it in a way so it's applicable to movie and, and television series because on theater you can do a lot of things that in, in on in front of a camera you cannot do because it's too big it's too uh, uh, too much like looking like it's too big it's too flamboyant it's yeah. too like, right and melodramatic they're, right they're, they're filming you here so if you go like that you're gone you're oh out. right big you know? movements so, so every, this technique, you must convert it in something very small. When I do this, I cannot do that on a screen unless right. unless it's an open open uh, shot, you know. Right. Right. Whereas for but theater, can... you have to do these big movements for the for the audience right at the back, right? Right. Right. But, but on a screen, I can do I can do this. Mm. You know, it's smaller, so you can. All the actions, theater is more action. That's what my what my teacher always said that theater is is, is what happens. It's not what's what's being said. I, I can recall uh, a theater class with two of my two of my colleagues. They had to do a scene, and they sat down in the theater class on a chair. And they started dialoguing. They learned their lines and they start ta 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 ta. So my teacher says, "Okay, this is enough. Let's okay. stop. This is not good." He said because you guys are talking, and he said, no, this, enough action. "This is not about talking. Acting is not about talking. Acting is about doing." So on a screen, you cannot always do. Uh, actually, um, it's. It's it's about something. There, there must be something going on. Something must 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 happen. And and in order to make something happen, you don't have to always move or action do stuff. But somehow, um, the when I'm completely still, the stillness can be action as well if you work it that way mm. and, so uh, true so it's 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 not easy to convert the technique i learned uh 
for for film and and television but it is possible it is possible yeah there's something i i've been taught that everything is is uh in a training must be big so you make you make a lot of moves you make a lot of noise and you create a lot of a lot of um garbage let's say put it that way in okay. order to make that uh smaller uh, how do you say that when when a flat when a flower um starts, starts to die oh okay. that, that what that's what has to happen with with those big actions and those big words and stuff you have to make it smaller and smaller and smaller but in order to make it smaller you have to have the big one you have to do the big stuff <laughs> right to have to have something in your in in your hands to mm. to make smaller that is right. that's what it's all about yeah mm -hmm. yeah like you, you you need to know like what is the like the actual concept right so the big one is like the like how to express that 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 feeling and then you can you can do it the subtle way as well right exactly yeah. if you haven't done the big one you cannot do you cannot make it smaller because you don't have anything to make smaller you don't have it so. right so yeah um martin we have like we just a, a lot of couple gems minutes. today yeah a lot of gems today yeah it, it yes. was incredible I, I i really enjoy talking about acting in this way the way that that you do yes and i'm sure a lot of uh, the the actor people that we know uh, or people who are interested in this art well, there, there's a lot that they can they can uh, yeah. take from this so yeah, like because we have like two minutes left, like okay. um, like I would like to know like about like you know being in Mexico per se, like uh, how like um, you know like I I, I mean I, I can tell from our conversation already that you that you find it a, a good place for you to do uh, your art and like. Do you feel like you can do it in the artistic way that you like, like over here, or do you feel like it's the 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 fast fame thing like everyone's going for just results and <laughs> well, yeah it depends, depends very much of the project you're working in if you are in a uh, in a novel like i did last uh, year well I, I finished the end of january in uh, the lord of the skies and it's uh, el senior de los cielos uh -huh. yeah well that is that is speed 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 you have to learn mm. sometimes 10 scenes 10 10 dialogues for the next day and and I'm, yeah. I'm I'm extremely bad in that thing. I get very nervous when I have to learn a lot of the lines for the next day because I, my right. mind is not so fast as other people. So I I personally have to study 3 4 times longer than somebody else. But mm. depends as I said on the project. Uh, there's other projects. Uh, I did a, a, a short movie lately. And uh, there was, we had a lot of time. Martin, I'm so sorry. The production is telling us to end it already, but we had such a good time talking to you. And we definitely want to do something to like invite you back again. Yes. yes. So, like, I'm signing out over here. I'm Celestine Angel. And we have Martin Creeper with us. Me too. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Very, very interesting. Your senses here on that front show. Peace okay. out. <laughs> very happy to come back on the show. Okay. Death or in show.